Fighter Show Report, we live here with man Hot Rob. What's good with you, man? Man, not much. Relaxing here, enjoying the fights. I hear that, bro. Now listen, I'm gonna cut straight to the chest because you already know. Yep. You got Rob, and that's we're under the bridge, right? Yep. So we're moving forward. What's next for you, bro? I have a date. Uh, I don't have a date, but August 29th, uh, uh, early, late August or first week of September on Showbox. That's what that's what we're looking at, and we have two two opponents, Lennon Castillo or Travis Peterkin. That, that's what they that's what they threw at me. So I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting on an official date. Now, champ. Now, if you believe in such a thing as a moral loss yeah. or looking good in the loss, uh -huh. do you feel that's what benefited you most from that Marcus Brown fight? Uh, my stock went up, his went down, you know, uh, I showed hard, uh, I was there to fight, I gave it a chain fight, so other than the, the lies that I got on my record, I didn't really lose, in my heart I didn't, in the fans' uh, eyes I didn't lose, so all in all, I really won, I actually won, won from that fight, other than the loss. So Champ, being from St. Pete, man, coming from the bird, we doing a lot of big things here in Florida, man, it's good to see guys like you. Watching some good prospects in the ring. You saw Keith do his thing a few weeks ago. You got Eric Zanubin over in Orlando doing his thing. Like, let the whole world know what we got going on here. Because I think for some reason they don't really feel like we belong. Nah, we got a lot of Florida talent. We, we, got, uh, we also got Brian Perella, uh, the Southpaw uh, from Fort Myers. Like you said, Lubin, Keith Thurman. We got Ed and Sherry. He's just fought and one. We have a lot of talent in Florida, man. We, we up and coming. So, let me get this straight, Sam. So, I see you training in Jordan Park. Is that correct, bro? Jordan Park. Is that why? Is that why I see you training or something? Like I see some videos on Facebook where you like you in the hood getting yeah. it in. Like. No, that, that that was before. You know, before uh, before that was the struggle. But now now you know now I'm in the gym and stuff. But yeah, before I trained outside in the street at parks. You know, I didn't have a gym. Me and my coach are going from park to park. But you know, now I'm here. I'm I'm at, I'm at the top. Well, that's the beauty of it, Chet, because what it means is you don't need all the high tech equipment. You don't always need the AC and the air conditioning. Sometimes you have to get it from the muscle. And seeing those old videos of you really just brings about a different light. Cause a lot of people don't really know the true story of Hot Rod. Like a lot of people just think he just showed up, yeah. you look good on the camera and you fight good, but they don't know that you really had to hustle to get here. Yeah, no, I was sparred in the winter and outside in the cold in the parks, uh, going to gyms, gym just for sparring. But you know, I trained, I trained at Lake Vista. I trained at uh, Charles Park. I trained a lot of parks, you know? And it got me where it got me to right here right now. Okay. Now I want to drop a jewel in you, champ. I saw what you posted that you said your daughter's gonna be one on the 15th. Yeah, July 15th. We got the same birthday, bro. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna let you go and enjoy the fights, man. Any shots you wanna give, man? I just wanna give a shout out to all my fans. Uh, thank you for supporting me and uh, my next fight I'm gonna be better, stronger, smarter, faster, and just tune in. This fight ain't going to distance the next fight. And it, the next fight should be ten rounds. It ain't gonna be eight. This is like the Marcus Brown the Marcus Brown fight was supposed to be ten rounds, but you know it got cut short. Lucky, lucky him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Tim, it's always good to see you, man. Be blessed, brother. You too, thank you, man.